Hey guys, on this week's video, I'm going to be making a uh, whiskey gift box. And it's a commission piece that I got as my first uh, corporate uh, gig, I guess. And I didn't have enough time to finish this week, so I'm going to split the video up into two parts. This week, you'll see everything up until staining and I guess glue up and personalization. Everything else is done. Uh, this is it here. And that's the stain I'm going to be using. It's a, uh, it's a gel, it's a blue gel stain. Anyway, so that'll be on next week's video. But I uh, just want to thank everyone for watching. If this is your first time on my channel, please like and subscribe. Um, and hang on, get ready for a, for a fun little ride. Thanks, guys. I started this project by putting together a quick little plan in Illustrator with the uh, customer's desired specs. Here I forgot to video as I was uh, cutting down the board that I'd previously milled in my pallet run video. Here what I'm doing is edge jointing the two boards I just saw so that I can glue them up into a panel and they'll be seamless. I'm gluing, gluing them up here now. should have used calls, uh, as many commenters mentioned to me, both personally and publicly, on Reddit and on YouTube, but uh, I don't remember why I didn't do it. This seemed to work out okay, as both boards wound up being perfectly flush, and the uh, and the joint was, uh, was really nice. This is for the lid, by the way, for this particular panel. In this shot, I'm pretending to look for a board. Um, I know perfectly well where all my boards are, but I thought it was kind of funny. Either way, this is going to be for the bottom. Yeah, I'm cutting off the gross edge here. And then cutting it down to size. It's actually not wide enough for this box, so I'm going to have to cut a strip and then uh, glue it onto the end. Lengthwise, not widthwise. Here I'm putting in my dado stack for a quarter inch, and you'll see that I'm going to be using my uh, hockey tape trick to get it to the perfect quarter inch, as I don't have shims. That's a mock-up uh, that I had done to ensure all the measurements that I wanted were correct uh, in order to do this kind of joint. I'm not even sure what it's called. It's like a dado with a half tenon going into it. Feel free to tell me what it's called in the comments. Safety people will be upset with me here, but this is the only way I could think of to, uh, to get the exact measurement of distance from the edge that I needed um, uniformity. Here I'm cutting off the edge of the tenon to reveal uh, the sheet. This was the first dry fit, and the, the tenon was too thick, so I spent a good amount of time sanding it to get it to fit. This one was pretty much the only stubborn one. The other ones were pretty much good to go off the, uh, off the table saw. that joint. I mean, it, it went very quickly, but it's actually a really nice tech joint. 
uh, here is the following day where I'm undoing the clamps for this glue up. Uh, the first one that you just saw was the uh, was the bottom, and then this is the panel that will go and be part of the lid. This is the sander that I use. Uh, I didn't show it in my shop tour video because it's just a black and decker mouse. But it works surprisingly well for a little guy like this. I do need to get a random orbit sander, and I, I will eventually. But this works well for now. We're back to the dado stack, and here I'm just measuring the height uh, to cut into the short pieces because I'm going to be putting in a divider that's going to be a quarter inch wide into it. That that's what's going to hold the whiskey or scotch bottle in place. good bit of sanding just to make sure that everything's nice and clean and there's no uh, chip out or tear out on any of the on any of the joints. I then take some mineral spirits and uh, and just clean everything up because I'm going to be staining this so it needs to be nice and clean, can't have any sawdust or anything like that on any, on any of it. I also find that it took a, a while for this to dry on this particular wood. This is the pallet wood that I would broken down in the previous uh, uh, two videos ago, I guess. And while that's drying, I'm cutting down a 2x8 uh, a into some essentially 1x1 one one so I can turn that into the, uh, into the lid that the panel will fall into. Should have put in uh, a drift blade for this cut. Took my calipers here to measure the exact height of, uh, of that panel, except that it's not uniform. But uh, I measured the height of it uh, all the way around, and just took the highest one, and then that's what I made as my as my depth for this. Lid edging. So you can see how the lid would fit into it very quickly anyway. And then here I'm setting up my miter saw with a square, and that works out really well for me be harder if I used a blade that had many more teeth, but this one uh, has room to put the square in there so that I can be done properly. And it's pretty precise. So here I'm cutting all four pieces at exactly 45 degrees to make a perfect miter. And here you can see where I ended up. It's a dry fit, and here's the lid, and then I still have to cut down the panel and it'll just fit into that. So check out the video next week. Like and subscribe. Thanks very much, guys. I appreciate it.